It's a toss up. Look at this. It's pizza today on an island grill stuff. Fire it up. Love it. From the birthplace of American barbecue, it is great TV. We're in the low country of South Carolina and always three time South Carolina state champion Jack Waybor is here. I'm Bill West with barbecuetricks.com. It, uh, it is a beautiful day in the low country, South Carolina, the birthplace of American barbecue. That Good to go. This is the show that's about a beer in length, so we like to try and keep to that. One thing that goes great with beer is pizza, and our friend Gary over at Cooking Everything Outdoors uh, sent us over, and we're going to show you this Island Grill Stone. I got it. And I said, what's an Island Grill Stone? This is it right here. Second. In fact, we're going to send that Island Grill Stone we to someone. we got to pick a date. We're, we're going to have a contest? Mm-hmm. What's the contest? Tell us all about it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, July 1st. There you go. I'm good. We'll pull from the new subscribers and uh, name a winner and send it out to you. I'm Simple all good. as that. All you got to do is subscribe, YouTube channel. Okay? So um, I guess we'll get started making some pizza. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, how do we do it? Tell me what to do. All right, the first thing, well, we have all our ingredients out, and of course, we're going to use, we're going to make what's called a white pizza, sometimes called pizza margarita. Um, and basically, it's basic ingredients that go to a pizza. We need pizza dough. Pizza dough can be found either in your grocer's um, dairy section, you know, over there where the Pillsbury popping fresh stuff is and all that. Mm -hmm. they, have a, they, they have a pizza dough that comes in a tube. Or I suggest that you go to your, either your local pizzeria or your bakery section of the supermarket. Usually, especially in the higher end supermarkets, they'll have pre-made pizza dough. If you want to, there's plenty of pizza dough recipes out there on the on the internet. You can make your own. Really doesn't make any difference. Um, it's easy to make, but I just it's easy just to stop by for me on the way home and, and pick up a dough. Yeah, it's like I always have the argument. Okay, it may only be it may be less than three bucks for a water dough, but then again, it's so much easier. If you want to be on a budget, you can probably do it for fifty cents. But uh, three bucks is, is easy for a for a pizza dough. Right. So I guess the first thing we need to do this is called this little gizmo right here is called a pizza peel. It's usually the ones that you prepare pizza on are wooden. The ones that you take pizza off of the grill on are usually metal or out of the oven on are no normally metal. So we're gonna prepare our pizza on a wooden pizza peel. Okay, so we need to get some flour on that pizza peel. And I use semolina flour because semolina flour is kind of kind of gritty, has a has a better uh, grit to it, and the and the the granules of the flour kind of act like ball bearings while you're sliding that pizza off onto the onto the stone or into the oven or whatever you're doing. It's just a better flour. And we go ahead and we take our dough and just plop it right down on there like that. And then you go ahead and stretch that out. It's you actually can, getting a little skin yeah, on you, you can punch can it a little bit, but be, be careful while you're while you're stretching it out. And you don't you want to stretch it out too much because you know it should be a little bit rustic. We'll go ahead and while you got that going, here's your roasted garlic, and we're going to use that for for our base. Now, this is the spot right here where if you want to use a regular pizza mix, say tomato sauce or something like that, it's easy. You can buy tomato sauce and a you know pizza sauce in a in a jar at the grocery store, or you can make your own. You can use regular spaghetti sauce, whatever it is that you feel like using. But go ahead and just dump that whole thing right on I mean, there. The craziest it, thing with, with this is people are thinking, okay, how do you do it on a grate of a grill? And that's where the that's where the island grill stone comes in. Although I have seen people put it right on the grill and sure. cook the basically bake the bread first, flash bake it, and then add the toppings. But we're not going to we're using taking advantage of the island grill stone that that uh, we've gotten. And the other good thing about pizza is pizza is like sex. When it's bad, it's when, good. It, when it's good, it's really good. When it's bad, it's still pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. So I like to take, we shift them out of some basil here, and I'm going to take about half of this and just kind of spread it on here a little bit, just kind of on the base, just so we have something down around the bottom to uh, to give us a little bit of flavor. We're only going to use half of it, so okay. you go ahead and spread a little bit of that on. That's good. And then we'll go ahead and add a little bit of this Italian seasoning. We'll put that yeah. down on the base. Yeah, just some sprinkle it on there and so it looks good. A little bit of uh, fresh grated Parmesan cheese. And then go ahead and reach in here and grab some of this fresh mozzarella cheese this you buy in the grocery store in the usually in the specialty bakery section um, it can be bought um, in the dairy section too but usually I find it in the shop arounds around the fresh um, around the deli section is where I usually find it and you just go ahead it comes in a ball you can buy the curds you can buy the whole one and you just kind of slice it up and we'll put some Roman tomatoes on that 
top. We smoked some cheese during the winter months. Oh, is this it? And this is the smoked provolone that we made. And I like to do, I like to put it on the grid, on the grid, gritty side of the back um, and put on as much as you can. That's a great product right there. It's, I'll try not to it's, add fingernails. It's mighty yummy. <laughs> you can smell this cheese. You can smell a little bit of a smoke in it that we put on. Remember when we smoked the cheese? All I did with the smoked cheese, cheese will freeze, especially these hard cheeses will freeze. And as long as you're not using them, you know, cubing them up, putting them on a cheese tray, they'll be, they'll be okay. Um, so it's just a good thing to have for, for making it all work. Put a little bit more of it, the Italian seasoning on top. That is as quick as it is to make a pizza margarita right there. That's a fantastic product. We're going to go ahead and take it right straight to the grill. We want the grill to be on about medium high on this thing because we want it to be straight up ready to go. This is what it's really all about. See how easy that slides around on there? So that pizza's kind of like using the uh, using the semolina flour, kind of like ball bearings. And then we just go ahead and we'll put it right on top of the pizza stone, just like that. Yeah, the stone looks really nice. And that's ready to go right there. Close it up. While that thing cooks off a little bit, let's take a look at some of these great plates because we got some good ones. Excellent. Let's take a look. Look at this burger. Derek Stapleton is always prolific sending us pictures. He loves to send us pictures, doesn't he? It's a big slice of something. And we love to see him. He says, a little burger love, a half pounder with jalapeno, Havarti, dill, and onion. That looks fantastic. I wish I could have that right now. Here's another one. Jason Shepard sent over this great plate. He says, a good old-fashioned pork butt from Connecticut. Simple mm, enough. Looks like going to be pulled pork, and it's going to be yummy. Another great plate. This uh, from David. He hashtagged it, great plate from David. A little bit of fish grilled on the Weber Jumbo Joe. That perfect looks, grill marks. That looks fantastic, and those grill marks are just about perfect. Aren't even they? has them lined up, so they're perfect. Jeff Wilson here sent this three pumpkin. That's my idea. I wanted to do that for Halloween. Maybe the next Halloween we'll do that. Three pumpkins. He says this is an awesome, great plate. Guess what's in the pumpkins? And he wants us to comment below. What do you think's in the pumpkins? Looks like a slab of something behind it. I guess it's some sort of uh, pumpkin soup. Pumpkin soup. That sounds good. Here's another one. Chris and Judy Cook sending this. I love when you try out our great plates. He writes, Judy took your recipe and made Brunswick stew oh, using wow. Brun left, leftover pot roast. Man, the Brunswick stew was fantastic. Thank you for making that recipe. It was a delicious recipe. You still have some probably in the fridge. I think I do. We made a pose of it. Thanks again for the great plates. We love getting them. All right, so bring that thing over here. Let's see how it is. And look at this pizza right here. This is the done pizza. We took it off the grill. Looks fantastic. We're going to go ahead and cut this up real easy with a, just a little knife cut. If you got a pizza cutter, that's always like a good thing to have. I dog reaction. As soon as I saw the pizza, I had to grab the beer. <laughs> how true is that? Looks good. Now let's see how the Island Girl Stone did the bottom of it because that's the, uh, the, t the difficult thing. I mean, I don't know how that could be much better. That is better. perfect. Look at that. Nice, nice crispness to it. It's got a little bit of snap in the crust. It smells fantastic. Nice. Shall we try it? I think we should. Grab a piece and let's get it on. Thanks, Gary, again. We love the Island Girl, so check out his YouTube channel and remember to subscribe to ours. Don't feel the pizza on the grill. It's good. Delicious. This is the stuff right here. Buy local, think global, stay sustainable, and every chance you get, hug your mama. And give her pizza. <laughs>